This question is based on the land claims um, payout from uh, for the Bukavu District 6. So it reads, many of the recipients of the payout will likely be the children or the grandchildren of the land owned years ago, right? So, example, the grandfather um, may have owned it and now the children or grandchildren will then get this payout. Is the now land claims payout regarded as inheritance from a Sharia point of view grandfather has passed on years ago bismillahir rahmanir rahim so the grandfather passed away now you they pay out uh, and many of them were only staying there mm. they did not own the houses okay. we stayed there and it belongs to the but they, they, they threw us out so that is not inheritance if you owned a property and you were taken from you and now you have to disperse of the cash that you got back from the government for what they wrongfully took from our parents and great grandparents and great grandparents. If it is of our own parents, remember there is a way of paying out the uh, ears. If it is our grandparents, there's a way out of paying out the ears. Because if they owned the places in District 6, Claremont. Don't forget our area, you know, the the the, 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 the Akers, you know, in the Goodit. We were also we moved from Goodit to mm. Bishop Levis. So people always, always speak about the Stick Six as if there was the only people staying there. We also stayed in uh, Goodit, uh, having acres of land uh, where it belonged to my grandfather or where it belonged, it, it was, he was just using it or where it belonged to the Malay camp, or whether they only used it, used it, but the record was there that they used to stay there. Mm. But if, if it wasn't their own land, so it is not inheritance. But if it was their own land, mm. it become a form of inheritance.